Your Jeep drives like crap, probably because the alignment's out of spec and you got a bunch of play in your front end. I got a message to do with some videos about industry jargon, kind of making it so you can speak a little bit more knowledgeably when you're uh, talking about suspensions. Now, play. Play is a word we use all the time. We're going to say, yep, you got play in your ball joints, play in your tie rod ends. We got play in this bracket or anything like that. What we mean by play is really looseness. So a lot of the times any like ball joints or tie rod ends, they're, they're going to have a machine tolerance inside of them. And a lot of times you can think of it kind of like a shoulder socket or a hip socket or anything like that. So we're going to have a ball and then a socket. And what can happen is you can get either rust inside there wearing it down or over time that it can actually just wear into the materials themselves. And then what happens is, is the tolerance gets looser. And that's what we're talking about. When we start seeing that in, out on a tie rod end and it starts moving out there, we're saying, hey, yes, it's got play in it. Well, that's what we really mean is a looseness in that joint. And hopefully that explains a little bit. Next big one you're gonna hear all the time is spec. So spec, what that really is, it's short for specification. When the vehicle's designed, um, the engineers are gonna have a specification for what they wanna see for the alignment quality of the vehicle which that is, is if we have all four wheels, fronts this way, we got our wheelbase, which is from the center of the wheel to the center of the wheel, each side. So if for some reason we were at 107 inches on this side and spec is 107 and a quarter to 107 and three quarters. So we have, at that point, we're giving ourselves a half inch tolerance and one side shorter than the other, well then we're gonna have to adjust the arms to even it out. And then they give us that spec, so at least we have a guideline of if we have the vehicle within spec, it really should drive well, or sometimes you have to tweak them a little bit, but at least it, it's a guideline for us to go by. So when we're saying spec, that's specification. Now, obviously we have wheelbase, that's from center of the hub to center of the hub. Up here, between our front steering tires, right there, is going to be measured in toe. We're going to have toe in when the, when the front wheels point in towards the center of the vehicle, toe out when they're pointing out towards the outside of the vehicle, obviously. That's going to be measured in uh, degrees right through there. And then we're going to measure the vehicle crossways on the alignment rack. The reason that is, is we're going to make sure it's square. So if we had a track bar that goes from the frame to the axle, and one side was measured too short or anything like that, it's gonna tilt the whole vehicle and then you're gonna kick one to the side, kick one to this way, and it's gonna dog track down the road. So at that point, all tires aren't really lined up right there. With adjustable track bars though, obviously we can shorten them or lengthen them and move that axle and move that axle to square everything up and have a lot better driving Jeep. Two other quick angles that you're gonna get on the alignment spec is gonna be your caster which is the relationship to, from the upper ball joint to the lower ball joint. And if this is the front of the vehicle and we kick it out this way, that's positive caster. Going to the rear, like a shopping cart, is gonna be negative caster. Obviously, we're on, when we start adjusting, we're gonna aim more on the positive side to get it to drive a little straighter. The uh, next one is gonna be camber. Camber for the most part on most Jeeps is not adjustable unless through like putting different ball joints in or something like that where you can actually adjust it. Now camber, what that is, is if you're looking at the tire, that's a tilt of the top of the wheel in or the top of the wheel out. The most common way to adjust your camber on the front of your Jeep is to bend the front axle. Or if you have some, ah, oh, play, play. If you have some looseness in the ball joints, and we have a ball joint right in here that's loose, that tolerance that, or that, that looseness right there can tilt the wheel a little bit. And that can give us kind of a hint that we should really check out the ball joints, make sure they're tight and they don't have any looseness or play in them.